JC Sutherland, Product Manager for Amadio, and what I'm going to show you in this video is how to set up the Trigger Finger Pro with Apple's Logic Audio. What we have right now is the Trigger Finger Pro is in its factory default setting, which is Arsenal and Fourverse. This tutorial is also assuming that you already set up Arsenal, have already scanned in all your plugins. If you haven't done that yet, please check out the Arsenal tutorial. So, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the preset and load the Logic and Arsenal preset. And what that does is it puts some of the banks of the controller section into Mackie control mode to talk to Logic and some of them in Arsenal mode to talk to Arsenal. Once we have the DAW set up, I'll show you how what each one of the Mackie control sections in here does and how to modify if you want to change what certain section does because the knobs can stay in a different mode than the faders and the buttons and each one of the sections, uh, the control banks, can operate independently of each other. So now we are going to go to Logic Pro X and the first thing that I will do is set up the control surface. So I'm going to go to Logic Pro X menu, control surfaces, and then setup. We already have a Mackie control instance here because occasionally Logic will scan what's attached to it, but sometimes it will not do that. And if that's not the case in your setup, just go to new and scan all models. It'll do another scan. I'll get through that menu and you'll find Mackie Designs, Mackie Control, or Logic Control. Click on that. I can't do it because there's already one there. If I click on it, Logic will get angry at me. So I'll just get out of this menu. After you have this icon here, you're going to right click or control click on it and go to Hide Show Inspector. And for the Outport port, you're going to choose Mackie. And for the input port, you're going to choose Mackie. And we'll get out of this menu. Now we're going to set up Sync. To set up Sync, we're going to go to Logic Pro, Preferences, MIDI, Sync, MIDI Sync Project Settings. And I want to transmit MIDI Clock to the Trigger Finger Pro Mackie port. So I exit out of this menu. And because the preset of Logic already has the transport here set to Mackie control, I should be able to hit play here and hit play there, but I'm also going to make sure that I'm synced externally. So now I'll be following the clock from Logic. So you see the transport going in logic, a lot of MIDI going to logic because I don't have a blank sequence here going to logic. And this is chasing logic. So I'll stop that and I will load an empty sequence. I'm also going to load a few tracks in logic to show you what, these, uh, what the faders and knobs are actually doing. And to load an instance of Arsenal. So I will create a track and go get rid of the library menu. Go to the AU Instruments, M Audio, Arsenal. And I'll do stereo. And I will load the room kit. We are all set up there. And I'll throw in a couple other tracks. Okay, that should do. We have five tracks there. So now on the hardware, I'm going to go to the control section. So I hit the control section and I'm going to go up to the knobs. You notice the knobs right now are actually talking to Arsenal. So what I'm going to do is hit the mapping button and you'll see that bank A is talking to Arsenal, bank B is talking to Mackie, bank C is Arsenal and bank C is Mackie. So I'm going to just switch bank A to Mackie. And exit that. And you'll see right now the pots are assigned to pan. To change those assignments, I can hit assign. And then I can choose either pan, send, track, scroll over, plug in, EQ, or an instrument. I'm now going to exit out of that and go to the faders. Same as before, the fader section of bank A right now is set to arsenal. So I'll hit mapping and put these back to Mackie.
hit exit, and we have levels. So we have the levels here, and if I have more than four tracks, this tracks one through four button will scroll over to the next bank five through eight. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to buttons. You'll see these buttons are still in our subtle mode, so like previously I'll go to mapping and change these bank A and C to Mackie mode. Hit exit, and you'll see right now they're set to record arm, but to function what the buttons do, I can just cycle through these through V-select, mute, solo, track select, and I'm back to record arm. Go down to your advanced functions. The cursors right now are set to Mackie, so those will go around different clips within Logic. And the transport's set to Mackie right now, so if I hit play here, this will tell the transport and Logic to hit play, which will actually MIDI sync the Trigger Finger Pro sequencer to slave to Logic's clock. So I'm just gonna make sure everything is synced by just doing a four on the floor, one bar loop, and the kick should be hitting the same time as the metronome in Logic. So I exit out of this, go to the sequencer focus, a one bar loop, the kick, hit that, make sure the metronome and Logic is armed, and I'll actually change the BPM up to like 126, so it's not just the 127. And yeah, the kick and the metronome are hitting at the same time, so we're good to go. Right now we're set up to record and produce in Logic.